hello friends welcome in this video we are going to calculate a tds on salary and in order to calculate tds average rate on salary we need some components and the required components are employee total income and employee's total tax liability so the tds on salary always depends on these two components one is what employees total income and employees total tax liability and for calculating tds on salary we have the formula and the formula is total tax liability of the employee total tax liability of the employee into 100 by total income okay so we need these two components now we'll just take a practical example on calculating tds on salary just remember the formula total tax liability into 100 by total income before deductions what are the components that we required we need employees total income at the same time employees total tax liability so let's take an example there is a person who is getting income from salary and the monthly income was around 55000 so the yearly income will be around 6 lakhs and 60000 and we have the standard deduction on the salary that is 50000 so the taxable income from salary is 6 lakhs 10000 so the actual salary was 6 lakh 60 thousand minus standard deduction on salary is 50 thousand so the taxable income from salary is 6 lakhs and 10 thousand and out of the 6 lakhs of 10 thousand if you made any certain investment under section chapter 6a of income tax act the deductions so very simple the deductions or expenses is allowed to reduce the income of the taxpayer so if these employee made any investments in atc or if there is any medical expenditure or if there is any rent expenditure that is allowed by the chapter 6a of income tax act let's take an example all together there is a directions around 1 lakh so 6 lakhs 10 thousand taxable income from salary minus directions 1 lakh so the net taxable income the net taxable income is 5 lakhs 10 thousand on the 5 lakhs 10 thousand we need to apply income tax slabs and ensure that presently i am you just using the old tax slabs so i am just i can claim the standard directions of 50 thousand and also the directions under sub chapter 6 a of income tax that is 1 lakh if we are opting for new income tax slab then we cannot utilize these standard deductions and also deductions under chapter 6 a of income tax act so now the total taxable income is 5 lakhs and 10,000 on the 5 lakhs and 10,000 we are going to apply income tax slabs and that is the old slabs so whatever income now we have the total income of rupees 5 lakhs and 10,000 the total income is what 5 lakhs and 10,000 on the 5 lakhs 5 lakhs of 10,000 whatever income is there in between 0 to 2 lakh 50,000 whatever income is there in between 0 to 2 lakh 50,000 that income will be taxed at the rate of 0 percentage so the tax will be 0 okay and again whatever income is there in this slab in between 2 lakh 50,000 to 5 lakhs 2 lakh 50,000 to 5 lakhs in the between income is 2 lakhs 50,000 on this 2 lakh 50,000 the applicable slab rate is 5 percentage so the tax will be 12,500 and again and whatever income in between 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs now we have the income of 5 lakhs and 10,000 so whatever income above 5, 5 lakhs and up to 10 lakhs we have the income of rupees 10,000 on the 10,000 the applicable slab rate is 20 percentage so the total tax liability is 2,000 on this 10,000 okay now 12,500 tax on 2,500 and 2,000 tax on 10,000 so the total tax the total basic tax of this employee is 14,500 where the person have taxable income of rupees 5 lakhs and 10,000 so if the income is 5 lakhs and 10,000 the total income 
tax basic tax is 14500 and the total tax was 14500 right and this 14500 is a basic tax so the basic tax on 5 lakhs 10000 is 14500 on the 14500 you can utilize the tax relaxation known as rebate under section 87a but this rebate can be claimed the tax relaxation under section 87a known as rebate can be claimed only in the case when your total income is less than 5 lakhs as the income is 5 lakhs and 10,000 you cannot claim the tax rebate 12,500 tax discount cannot be claimed in this case so the basic tax is the absolute tax so on the again 14,500 four percent says is applicable so the total tax liability of the employee is fifteen thousand and eighty rupees so what are the components that we need the total income before the deductions and the total tax liability now we have these two components six lakh sixty thousand is a total income and fifteen thousand eighty is a total tax liability we'll just check the formula once what is the formula total tax liability into 100 by total income before deductions you do not consider the income five lakhs ten thousand this is the total income after the deductions of standard deductions and a deduction under chapter 6a of income tax act ensure the total income before the deductions okay so what is the total income before deductions is six lakh sixty thousand so the total tax liability fifteen thousand eighty rupees into hundred by total income six lakh sixty thousand before the deduction so the applicable tad tds rate is 2.28 percentage so as an employer when you are making a payment of rupees 55000 towards your employee you need to direct tds at the average rate of 2.28 percentage on 55000 so that will be 1238 rupees so when you are making TD, uh, when you are making a payment of salaries every month you need to deduct 2.28 percentage on salary so in this case you can see as we are climbing the deductions uh, we are climbing the deductions and we are computing slabs that is based on old slabs and if you want to calculate the same on new income tax slabs and ensure that you cannot climb the deductions okay whatever deductions you already climbed the uh, six lakh sixty thousand minus standard deduction fifty thousand so you cannot claim these deductions so your income remains as six lakh sixty thousand at the same time you also cannot claim atc atd atgg so you cannot claim the other deductions as well so your income remains as six lakh sixty thousand on six lakh sixty thousand if you apply the new income tax slabs then it will be like this 0 to 2.5 0 percentage 2.2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs 5 percentage 5 lakhs to 7.5 lakhs 10 percentage 7.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs 15 percentage and so on so as of now the income is totally 6 lakhs under 60,000 in the previously we are climbing the direction as the income is being reduced by but in this new income tax slabs if that employee wants to opt for new income tax slabs then the person is not eligible to claim any other deductions okay then the income will be higher so six lakh sixty thousand so on the six lakh sixty thousand if you want to apply the income tax slab the total tax was twenty eight thousand and five hundred so it is up to you whether you like to go with the new income tax slabs or old income tax slabs if you want to go for the old income tax slabs you can claim the benefits of uh, deductions you can claim the benefits of deductions and if you want to go with the old income tax slabs then the tax uh, tds rate is 2.28 percentage average right so this is how you are going to calculate tds on salary right thank you